why startups fail. A lot of people start businesses without doing the proper research and footwork needed. There are three main reasons why most startups don't get funding or fail very quickly. They are struggling because they either don't have one, the right team to pull it off, two, a solid product, three, no USP in a saturated market. As founders, they need to recognize which one is killing them and very quickly tweak their business model. A solid product with the right team and a good enough USP will attract investment and customers in weeks. Well, USP, you mean unique selling points? Yeah, and unique selling points. I remember those days when I was taking a course in management in, uh, from the Institute of, management, uh, Institute of Strategic Management of Nigeria. And there was something we call branding. People, when you talk about branding, people talk about branding from the surface of gallery, just like you see, playing to the mm, screen, gallery, big yeah. screen, uh, social media representation. But branding is beyond that. Branding could be strategic. How are you solving persons, uh, people's problem uniquely to define your brand? I guess that's what you mean by unique selling points. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, mm -hmm. that's it. So. And, and I think when it comes to startup, a lot of people struggle, in addition to what you have said, which makes perfect sense, a lot of people struggle because they don't situate their business in their location. I'll give you an example. Somebody makes, uh, I mean, this just playing off a bit. Somebody that stays in um, a place like, um, I don't know, let's say Ajegunle or somewhere, not necessarily a but a place like a, a residential area where middle stroke lower class now builds three-story building or four-story building. And this is a real life story, four-story building of shops. And you look at the money that has been pumped into the kind of shops and where the shops were situated. The question is, if you want to transform how we do businesses, is that the best place to build those kind of shops? Number one, the amount, the amount of money people need to rent the shops and the sales they can make in that area, does it correlate? Can they make the money back? Now, what I'm saying is, a lot of times we invest in something that might not fit the actual location. And at times when we get into entrepreneurship drive and we have that brainwave and we're investing, we have all the knowledge, but we don't understand the environment where we're applying the knowledge. So you studied abroad, and you're coming to Nigeria to set up and you want to be an entrepreneur, there are certain principles that work here that you will never be taught abroad. Mm -hmm. So when you come here, you need to unlearn certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have your unique selling points, but even the approach to it mm -hmm. might be completely different from what you've seen in the books. Mm -hmm. So you need to come here and understand the environment, understand what people want. And that's what politicians do that better. I've met a lot of young politicians who tell me that. I said, listen, when you're going on the streets, you don't wear suits because the people must know that you're approachable. They must see you as one of them. So you're wearing your jeans and your T-shirt and stuff. So if, for example, I have all the ideas and I know I want to change Nigeria and I come and I'm speaking all the big grammar, and you ask yourself, how many of these people that speak huge grammar have ever penetrated? So those are part of things. Your unique selling point is there. Understanding market yeah, knowing is conjugal key. Conjugal something like that. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that's it. And comfort. comfort. Yeah. Because we don't um, fail because of all this plenty, plenty grammar. We fail because we are ever racist. After us here, there's no light. And uh, um, Amak is on the prom. And um, oh <laughs> oh is stopping us. And uh, Dollar is going Ease on. of doing uh, business. Uh, the chain. I mean, uh, uh, please, and then when your customers even come, they will not want to underprice you, are uh, under pressure to pay your landlord. So mm. you take a lot of desperation, you take the, the money that they're giving you only for you not to add up. Okay, but, <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, really, I mean, points well taken. But the truth is here, it's re the climate here for business is really taxing. And if we're going to be honest, a lot of the time, the businesses that do succeed have external help. Mm. Either a parent uh, has been in government before, um, um, there's some favor that needs to be paid to the uh, whatever, so you get a consensus on the, you know, the rent or something. There's always a lot of, you know, some horse trading going on that does help. Um, and you have to be corrupt in a lot of times because you, you, we don't pay even the full government government fees that come mm. let's be honest because if you pay it mm -hmm. if you pay full you're going to crash that's mm. the truth yeah. so um yeah i think that's all i want to um, um to say the yeah. unique that's nigerian true. position yes mm -hmm. nsp that's <laughs> no, you, <laughs> you know, unique, unique, 
U N P. And that's what I'm saying that you need to situate yeah. whatever you want to do in the current state, the realities yeah. on the ground, and for you to really make it. Yeah, yeah. and um, comfort is very, very correct. A very small business owner, the government does um, doesn't help you. They don't aid your effort. Mm. Instead, it damper it. But um, so I, I I was talking about this topic more for tech startup founders mm. who will probably watch this um, program on mm. Sunday so that they'll know like you're not doing something wrong. You can always very quickly tweak your model yeah. um, if you think you are failing because I've been, like, I'm a startup founder and I failed. And these are some of the things I've noticed and um, that one, if you don't have the right team and by having the right team, you need someone with connection, like comforted. You need someone at the background True. that will do the old yeah, shaking and this. Yeah. You need that person mm. on your team. Mm. So you need that. Secondly, you need um, a solid product. If you are building a tech product, you need a solid product, not something that is scratch there, and this yeah, thing. You need yeah. something very solid to compete with your counterpart mm. um, abroad and even in African okay. countries. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, you need a solid USP. Oh my God, that one cannot be overemphasized. If he's selling slippers and I'm selling slippers, it cannot, it, the people that are patronizing him won't leave him for mm. me. What is my USP? What is your USP? Yeah. And my slippers more um, better quality, cheaper. Are they, are mm. they, are they made <laughs> in Nigerian villages, yeah. giving money to the villagers? And, and, the and, USP and must you know, be solid. Once even at, in addition to the USP, the USP can be as easy as your marketing. Mm -hmm. Because you might have, there are products that are selling and you're wondering what's so different from yeah. this product? What's the big what's so, deal? Exactly. But the, the approach to it, some people, your USP might just be your, your customer service, which we lack in Nigeria, oh. I guess. Yeah. Oh my God. Customer oh. service, the, no. the approach, making the person feel at home. Your USP That's might even just be the way you've branded your area. Exactly. People enter your shop or whatever and they feel feel that okay this this or social there's something exactly yeah. so there's something serious about your your brand buy one slippers to save one child, to save one to save one child. Uh -huh. yeah so those are things that we need to we, to get into and i really agree with that idea of getting the right team i've struggled with that i know what it means to get people so we'll do it we'll do we'll do we'll do and you're waiting and nothing is done and you yeah. have to do it yourself and you're wondering why True. do i even have a team the values so the value there is exactly. no money to it's not everybody that can See the vision. Yeah. Uh -huh. Into the vision. Exactly. Yeah. Without in, uh, incentive, monetary yeah. incentive. Of which, yeah. like we're saying, in Pick. other climes, Pick let's use games. the West, for example. We have so many times when people have, startups have gone into business and they have support from friends, from yeah. people around them yeah. who are not just looking to pilfer. They are there to really support you because they believe there's something you have. Just like the story of Mark Zuckerberg while he was in Harvard. Exactly. Yeah. He invited many of his classmates. Yes. LA2 turned up. Turn. The other two were like, what the heck? Maybe yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm busy. Oh, I don't know what. And they, they turned it down. But you see, those guys are billionaires. They're billionaires today. So th those are the things that, for us as well, it's, well, you know that you're starting a business, and like Comfort said, you know the government, there are rules, there are processes, there are things we do. You need the connection. You need the connection. So when you're starting, the first thing to do is start building a lot of these things. We know it is wrong, but that's the reality on the ground here. Yeah, Th that's why reality. I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. I like what you said. What you said, I agree with you. But the reality is, M must everyone have somebody in government? Why can't the government, for once, think sustainability? That is the how future. How the system work? That's the future so that's approach. <laughs> but for now, okay. if you want to start now, but we still have to say it. No, we have to we say it. Have to say it. Have to say so it. Let us yeah. know that. you need to face the reality that for now, exactly. And, and you see, at times, right? At times, all these things. You, all you need, why you need somebody in government, and it's true. I've seen people that have just because of the approach. And the sincerity of purpose. Like you told me something earlier on about you know uh, going on a journey and how the person quizzed you back and forth and felt that okay go and people were telling you ah how did you survive? A lot of people have been sent back. Just sincerity of purpose at times opens doors, mm. which a lot of us the way we package it, the way we talk, we all make it. It's not always the the re the, the the situation, but at times you just need to look for a way around. And these things at times, I've seen people that have gone into business just because when they were in secondary school, no, not second, in the school, university or whatever, or even before that, they had gone ahead to serve other people, learn the ropes, get, which we don't do a lot of. I always say that one of the reasons it's easier, in my view, to lend money to a startup abroad 
is because that person, right from the age of 15 or even lower, younger, has had a bank account. There's been a flow, an inflow of money. They've seen how he's kept his money. He's not just using his money to buy the latest iPhone. He's busy working. So to a certain extent, he has understanding of how to manage finances. He can tell you how he saved his money to buy this, how he saved money to fund this. So there's, a, there's, a, there's a, something you can fall back on. But for us, at times, the first bank account we're having is after university when we want to start a business. Just university exactly. So you're, you're the thing is, you don't have any track record of financial management. So how then am I going to be able to trust you with this being your first? So there are so many things that come into play in when it comes to finances and startup and USP. Well, that's that's one thing we should consider. Yeah. <laughs> We thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hope our conversations resonate with you. Little drops of water does it make a mighty ocean. Don't forget the advocacy continues on our social media platforms. On Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. And Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. <laughs>